Hey, me Tangerine, and I am in my living room. I thought it would be fun to share a little flip through of my memory planner. This is my collaboration with Archer and Olive, and I love documenting in this way and sharing the inspiration with you. So hopefully you will feel motivated and uplifted and inspired to create. So give this video a thumbs up if you like it and be sure you're subscribed. Leave any questions or comments below. I love hearing from you as always. So let's get to it. As you know, I really enjoy documenting in fun and different ways because I think that this is sort of a catch-all for all the little bits that you may have laying around. If you see some magazine clippings that you like, stickers, anything you want to include. In January, my son and I challenged ourselves to do a drawing a day and it worked. And then in February, it also worked as well. You'll see that soon. So here is the beginning of the year. You'll see a lot of the same techniques that I use over and over again. I included some of his cursive. I include little bits and pieces. I have these printables that are here as well. Stickers, a lot of watercolor. This is something that I enjoy doing. So February, I made it 24 days and then because we went out of town I sort of slacked off Jack wasn't with us on the trip and you know what I'm okay with that as long as I enjoyed the process I don't have to hold myself to something that I no longer feel like doing and that's okay there were a lot of really fun moments throughout here that I enjoyed. I treated myself to a bag that I love so much and I don't know why it took me so long, but I'm glad I did it. There are watercolor elements, like I said, stickers, stamping. These are my stamps that are with Alta New and I have something exciting coming up with them soon. These were from the stamp set called Wild One that we had at Go Wild. So you'll see that documented coming up too. And what I figured out is that if you go to different places, Din Tai Fung, for example, had this stamp uh, at the hostess stand and I asked if I could use it and she said, sure. So when you're out and about and you're collecting little bits, if you feel like collecting them, you can tell which nights I'm in charge of dinner. <laughs> Uh, went to Din Tai Fung for lunch, I believe, and then Shake Shack for dinner. And then I brought home Chipotle, I think. <laughs> yeah, it's one of those things where I don't do a lot of cooking, but JC does, and I think it's okay. We find what works. Here is going into March. And then because I didn't do the drawing a day anymore, I sort of filled in the way I have in the past years where I'll highlight a few of the days, but then if I have some blank spaces, I can put whatever I want. I love that Junie said, no ghost take my tree. JC was out of town and brought her this stuffed animal tree that she just adores. Here we are at Go Wild and I, Put this Arby's thing in here. You can see a lot of cutouts from restaurants. This is a business card from the Duchess. And then here is where we go into Go Wild, which was so amazing. Both vlogs are up, parts one and two. And then let's see, what else did I do? Oh, watch Ticket to Paradise, the movie, Gr Girls 5 Eva which was two episodes, I think, on Paramount Plus, and that's one of the subscriptions that we don't have, so that was really fun to see on the plane. Here's a sticker from a really delicious cookie. We went to the Lego store. Oh, no, uh, his friend Eric had a Lego party, and I picked up McDonald's for the kids and Taco Bell for myself. We went to Knott's Berry Farm, I was a couch potato. The rain has been crazy this winter, I guess you could say in Los Angeles, as you know, which is why I'm filming on the floor in my house <laughs> because the studio is, um, yeah, it's 
fine when it's sunny out, but we need to make some plans for it. It was funny because I filmed in the studio, which I can still do, but we need to probably do some demos soon and figure out a solution for rebuilding the studio. Be led by your heart. I love including stickers. Here's something from Target. We went to see Chupa. Here's a little from that day. <laughs> <laughs> Christian Slater's here. So cool. You're doing some crafting over here. He was so kind talking to people, taking pictures with them, and he even sat at the crafting table. It was adorable. And he took this picture with us. Jack has no idea how lucky we are. This was our crew at the Netflix to do theater. It's on Netflix now. You should totally watch it. Very heartwarming. Chick-fil-A, this bookstore in Los Angeles is amazing. Actually, they have them, I think, in multiple places, but I just love going there. The kids loved going there. We had a really fun spring break where we stayed home and we didn't really go anywhere, but we had a lot of little adventures locally which is something that I enjoy doing, being a tourist in my own town. So fun. We went to the stall house. JC and I celebrated 14 years, and I had gotten tickets months ago for our anniversary, our first date anniversary. Do you guys celebrate stuff like that too? I don't know why. We can't get April Fool's Day out of our head because that is the anniversary of our first date. So here we have, let's see, just, you know, random things. This is a sticker from salt that we really like. It's this black garlic salt. You saw this, I think, for April. I have a video on how this came together. And we are in April now, but you can see here that there are a lot of spaces. This was a continuation of spring break. We went to see the Super Mario Brothers movie. It's so good, I highly recommend it. More stamp usage here. Watercolors, went to the beach, and then went to that bookstore again, but it's a smaller version in West LA inside of a Mitsua market. And then here is where I need to fill in some spaces because today is Wednesday and I have it, you know, outlined a little bit, but I'll fill in the blanks when I get the chance. So enjoy today. I hope you liked seeing this little flip through and how are you all doing on your documenting or your planning or memory keeping? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to see what's working for you. I want to go back to making more traveler's notebooks because I miss having photos and I miss sharing that process with you. So let me know if you wanna see some more Traveler's Notebooks videos, and I'll be doing a vlog from Craftcation. I know you enjoy those. Thank you so much as always for watching. Oh, I went to see Judy Bloom Forever, this documentary that comes out on Friday on Amazon Prime Video, and it is incredible. I'll include a little clip here. I'm Annabelle, and I'm so excited about this evening. So we all just came from the amazing Judy Bloom Forever documentary. <laughs> Please join me in welcoming the extraordinary directors, Leo Wolchuk and Davina Pardo, and of course, the one and only Judy Bloom. <laughs> Speaking certainly for myself, and I suspect for the millions of Judy Bloom super fans worldwide of multiple generations, I'm delighted and thrilled that you are now letting your story be told in this upcoming documentary. How did you decide that now is the right time, and how did you know that Leah and Davina were the right people to tell that story? Uh, no one ever asked me before. <laughs> <laughs> and when uh, Davina came to me, it was like, ooh, I don't know if I want to do that. I don't think I want to do that. But she was delightfully persistent, and that is a, that's a big thing, persistence. And um, finally we met one day, and we had breakfast together in New York, and 
George, my husband, was with us, and we liked her. <laughs> <laughs> she was smart and she was funny, and um, but we still didn't do it, you know. But more and more persistence, and um, she brought Leah in. She brought Imagine Films in, and it seemed to me then that if I didn't do this in my lifetime. Somebody was going to do it after, in my after lifetime. And wouldn't it be better for me if I was here to tell my story? And I knew that I would have to be honest and open. And um, there it is. I did it. And they did it. I talked to Judy and she is remarkable. She's 83 years old and that woman is so inspiring and so authentic and true to herself and has no idea the amazingly positive impact on the millions and millions of people that she's had. She's so humble and wonderful and she even wasn't doing a book signing but she said that I could leave my book at the bookstore and she would sign it for me if I wanted, and she did. It was so sweet. My sister-in-law is actually going to Key West where she has a bookstore, but she won't be there because she'll be doing press for her movie that's out or coming out soon, as well as the documentary. So yeah, that's it. Thank you so much as always for watching, and I hope you feel inspired to get those creative juices flowing. This was my wristband that I cut up to put into my planner. These are my friends who inspired this photo. It's one for the books.